Good morning everyone. It is currently about 3.30 in the morning. Well, a little bit after because I couldn't get out of bed. It was so cold. I managed to get out of bed, put on my dressing gown, turn on the light and then get back into bed. But yeah, I am going to Morocco today. I'm like excited but I'm also like a little bit like worried that no one's gonna be there. I tried to look on Instagram and see if like tourists have been posting pictures. There's like a few but like really not many so I'm a little bit worried that the hostels are gonna be like empty. Um, there goes another alarm. Okay I guess I'm gonna get up it's 3 40 now. I guess oh there's the water. I guess I'll get up and get dressed now. But yeah, like I feel very unrushed. Ask me that same question in half an hour. At like 10 past four, the answer will for sure be yes. I'll have like a million things to do, so. But right now I'm feeling very like relaxed and chilled and like I have nothing to do. It's definitely not the case, but. <laughs> Let's go. I did not say because it's so early I guess I forgot welcome to my channel if you don't know who I am my name is Chelsea and yeah I make travel videos so welcome to my channel and let's go to Morocco hello from Tesco's I did not film anything else this morning because as I say ask me at quarter past four am I rushed the answer is no I didn't feel rushed but I didn't leave until half past so that's why I didn't feel rushed so yeah it's now about like half four and we need some petrol. Wow, I look pale. Oh, it's about like 50 minutes to the airport. And I'm gonna go to Morocco. Yay. Okay, I'm gonna see you at the airport. Hello. So I haven't updated actually. I don't think since I've been in the airport. Um, just went and got like a meal deal. Had some hash browns. Nothing too exciting, hence why I didn't film anything. Um, I'm just walking to the gate now. I actually went to the currency exchange desk because I realised I hadn't got any money um, so I have no cash so that's good but I asked and I was like oh can I like get out other currencies and she was like yeah yeah you can get any currency and I was like perfect can I get some Moroccan dirham and she was like oh we don't have that I was like any currency okay cool <laughs> so yeah still have no cash I'm hoping that there's like an ATM at the airport also, I don't know how I'll get to my accommodation, so it's gonna be fun to figure out. But yeah, just walking to the gates now. It's like a 10 minute walk, so it's quite long, but I'm excited, but I am like worried that I am gonna be the only person there. I said that already, but I'm still certain. Um, oh, we're boarding. Exciting. I'll be switching to aeroplane after. I got on plane and it's been a long time boarding actually, like I've been on plane for like half an hour, more than half an hour. People are just taking their time. <laughs> but yeah, the flight was meant to take off like now. Uh, we haven't started moving yet. I managed to get a window seat even though I was meant to be in the seat. Um, but people sat in the wrong seats and it kind of worked out that it ended up only being two people in a row so I've moved over. Um, to the window because why not? Also, I don't know why people don't know how to wear masks properly like this. <laughs> Prime example just there. That's next to me, like no one knows how to wear a mask over the nose. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> it's not my problem. Well, it is if I get COVID though. And a figure of the cabin. Safety card located within the area you are seated. Thing. Um, apparently I look like someone who has a drone because two people asked me when I was coming through the arrivals gate I don't know um, I was able to get some cash I think it was probably quite an expensive exchange rate to get cash here but I needed it um, 
I managed to connect to the Wi-Fi and have a look at how to get to my hostel. There's basically, there's a bus that'll take about 30 minutes, which is about the same as like driving in a car. I'm gonna go have a look now. Um, if you are gonna be uh, going to Morocco, then make sure that you have your address in Morocco handy because they ask for that passport control. And other than that, just like passenger locator form, negative PCR test and vaccine certificate. They want everything here. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go see if I can get a taxi now. So I just arrived at my hostel and they've given me a little cup of tea. It's so cute. It's too hot to drink at the moment, so I'm just gonna let it cool. But um, I got a taxi from the airport. Um, initially they said it was like 150, which I didn't know how much that was. Um, but online it said like 60, so I said, oh, it says this online. And they said, no, no, it's 150. So I was like, okay, no worries, I'll get the bus. And they were like, oh, no, 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 like, we'll find someone. <laughs> so I ended up getting it for 100. And the taxi, I don't know if that's like normal or whatever, but it's actually a lot cheaper than I thought it was. I thought 100 was about like, and 15 pounds. I was actually very confused. I've never seen someone beat the horn so much in a car. I think it's just very normal here, but like my taxi driver was like the most impatient person on the road. Like no one else was beeping their horn and he was just like every opportunity. But yeah, uh, and he was also like just driving in the middle of two lanes, like not the best driver. <laughs> um, and then when I arrived, he was like, oh no, we said 120. I was like, no, we didn't. And then like some random person that he found on a motorbike took me to my hostel. I don't know, it was all very strange. I didn't know what was going on. Had my little Kego um, device. I don't know if you know about that. It's basically just a little safety device. Um, I'll have it linked below with a discount code. But basically, if you want to know about it, watch one of my other videos. I'll link it up in the corner. But I had that so that my parents could see like where I was during the taxi ride and the like walk to the hostel and I felt a lot safer knowing that they would be able to see where I am. But yeah, got to the hostel and they just gave me a cup of tea um, before check-in. So I'm just like sat here with all my bags. So far it looks pretty nice in here. Um, I'll show you it. So this is like the seating area. Oh wow, I have not looked up yet. Okay, so I've just um, been in my room in the hostel. Um, it's like right outside like the little seating area. Um, so it's on the ground floor, which is good. Love that. Um, this is going to be my bed. I'm in a four bed dorm. So there's, I'll show you around the room. There's one bed. That one is going to be my bed. And then there's a bunk bed over here. And there are some lockers down here as well if you want to lock away some things. And we have a little mirror as well. It's um, a little bit close, but yeah. Right, okay, so I'm gonna get myself settled in here, sort out my bits. I have no idea where my big bag is actually. Oh, it's down there. <laughs> he brought it in and put it like at the end of the bed. Um, they also have like lots of activities at this hostel, which is pretty good. I'll like tell you about some of those in a sec. But this hostel is called the Riyadh Riyad Burris. Um, it's in the Fez, like the old Medina. So far it seems really nice here. I'll show you around the whole hostel in a sec. But yeah, I'm just gonna get myself sorted. I need to eat some food because I'm starving. Okay, so this is the little, little communal area. I feel like this would be a good place to do my teaching because it seems that it's gonna be quite quiet all the time. There's Wi-Fi here. I could also probably do my teaching in my room, which is literally just here as well. So that's pretty good. So then over here there is a kitchen. So then coming upstairs, I think that might be another room. Oh, there's a toilet. I swear I'm out of breath from climbing these stairs. They're really tall stairs. <laughs> Anyway, up here is the root bit, little terrace.
so I got given a little tour um, just as I arrived and up here is my favourite part of the hostel. I will show you. So you just come up some stairs, can you hear I'm out of breath? And look at this little area. Just some little seats and it has an amazing view. You can literally see like the whole Medina. <laughs> I don't know if those are the Atlas Mountains, but there's some mountains as well. But yeah, literally, like, you can have 360 degree views. I don't know if they ever open those, but... Oh, there's a little cat as well. There's quite a few cats in this hostel. I mean, just look at that. Wow. I think I'm gonna like sit up here and enjoy my lunch. Um, I had a meal deal that I brought from Boots just in case I got hungry on the plane but I didn't eat it so I'm gonna eat it now for lunch. It's like two o'clock in Morocco so it's about one o'clock in UK. So basically yeah, I want to quickly say that this place is on Hostel World, you can find it. And the basic four bed mixed dorm is £4.91 per night. Breakfast is included in both those prices so literally you can pay like £5 a night, get your accommodation and breakfast included which is really good you get free tea and coffee throughout the day which is amazing because the tea in morocco is just so amazing it's like um i asked him what it's made of and it's just black tea mint and sugar sugar is why it tastes so good but yeah i remember when i last came to morocco i loved tea time <laughs> i think it was like after dinner every day they brought us around tea and i i just oh tea here is so good it's not like too cold i mean i have got a coat a hoodie and my t-shirt on i think the wi-fi works up here yeah it does wow the wi-fi even works up here on the roof uh it's currently 11 degrees but like it's not really windy or anything so it's quite nice a uh, little bit on the chilly side oh i'll tell you what um activities they offer at the hostel so he gave me a sheet that has like a map and he explained how to get to, I think he called them the blue gates. So they offer like local activities. So you can have like a three hour Medina orientation tour with an official city guide, which is 20 euros up to three people. After three people, it counts as a group and the price changes to five euros per person. And then Rampart Fez, explore the ramparts of the Medina. I don't know what that is. Cooking class, 30 euros per person. Ladies and men's hammam which is 12 euros per person. I think that's that spa thing. I'm not really sure. I kind of want to do that if it is. Uh, shisha pipes, 15 euros. Uh, day to the McKinney's. I don't have a clue what that is, but that's 120 euros for up to six people. So these prices, I think, are split between the group. So like that would be 120 euros, whether you're six people or one person, I think. Day trip to Chef Shawen, 180 for up to six people. Day trip to see the monkeys in the forest of Azru and the Swiss town of Ifran in the middle Atlas, 120 for up to six people. Monkeys. Trips to the Sahara Desert starting from 150 euros per person for one night and donkey rides up to Marind Tombs which is 30 euros per person. Family dinner night and we have, sorry, I'm just like... <laughs> Talking to the camera. What's yeah. up, vlog? It's your boy. <laughs> Make sure to Big subscribe. Big J. Yeah. We have some yeah, you tell from us. Birmingham. <laughs> Birmingham boys. You're, you're jammy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's family dinner night, so we get all this food. And it's free from the hostel. There's like soup, Moroccan sweets, stuff that I have no idea what it is. Um, and it's all vegetarian, which is amazing. <laughs> Good morning guys. So I did not film much yesterday at all. It's now Thursday and I arrived in Morocco on Tuesday. Um, so I've now been here for two nights. I filmed obviously a lot on the first day as you saw. But yesterday um, I was teaching all morning. And then in the afternoon I decided to edit a video because it was raining so I didn't really want to go out and explore or anything. I think it's supposed to rain again today. I was teaching again this morning and now it's about 11.30 so I have the whole afternoon off to explore so I might go and see if there's anyone that wants to go and explore with me. I hope it doesn't rain but I think it's supposed to. I have to say I am loving this hostel and I get like good night's sleep here. I didn't wake up at all last night so that's fine. Breakfast here is just amazing. I haven't been 
vegan um, while I've been here. I've just been vegetarian because I don't want to be like fussy because they sort of like have all the breakfasts pre-made. Um, I met another girl who's in the exact same situation. It's difficult to be vegan, I think, in Morocco. Not difficult, but if you don't want to be fussy with the free breakfast, it's difficult to be vegan, but it's very easy to be vegetarian. So at least in this hostel it is. So the breakfast is like a sandwich with like, there's a slice of cheese, which I took out. It's really weird. It's like white cheese, egg and avocado. So it's really nice. I do miss eggs. And then it comes with a fruit with some sort of like yogurt thing on top. It's delicious. It's so nice. And then it comes with like some beans and some lentils, which I think are both vegan. And then it also comes with a cake thing, which I have not eaten. So I am I had a little bite of it yesterday, but I'm not really a sweet tooth person that much. Obviously I love sweet things every now and again, but I don't love a lot of sweet things, especially for breakfast. I just don't want to eat the cake. So um, yeah, and then you get orange juice, you get free tea and coffee throughout the day. Yesterday they had a family dinner, which was free. It's just insane. So. It's crazy. I love this hostel. It's really good. I highly recommend staying here. I've been here for two nights now and I have extended for a third night. So I will be staying tonight as well before heading to Chef Chowen tomorrow. Also, I forgot to mention that this hostel also provides towels. So happy days you don't need the towel if you stay here. Oh, nice. Where's the other one? Hey, Mama. This one down here. Oh, is it dead? No, I don't think so. No, stop. <gasps> no. Is it alive? Yes. Oh, he's okay. Oh my gosh, my heart then. Hey guys. Um, as you can tell, it's probably... Um... Hello. <laughs> you can probably tell it's quite a bit later in the day I didn't end up filming anything today because uh, we went for Chinese food and then uh, we went to go and explore but it started raining so we came back um, and then we just like chilled on the roof top bar like there's like a ceiling so it wasn't wet but um, yeah we were just chilling and chatting for the rest of the day and then at about like 6 6 30 p.m. we decided to do a hammam Oh, no. It's an experience. So basically you go to like a spa place. It's kind of like a steam room, but it's not like... Oh, are you vlogging? Yeah. She's vlogging. You want to be in it? Mm. Whoa. This makes me look good. <laughs> so yeah, the hammam. So we went... It's like a steam room, but it's not quite as steamy. It's just like a hot bathroom. Um, and everyone's like naked in there. <laughs> um, and like we kind of got in and we were like very confused. Like our lady didn't speak English. Um, she spoke a little bit of French and I understand slash speak a very, very tiny bit of French so I could like kind of converse with her but then she would start speaking to me and I'd be like, uh-huh. And yeah, not knowing what she was saying. But um, basically she just got like some buckets of hot water and like started washing us with like soap and then like put on like an exfoliating glove and like scrubbed our skin so like all the dead skin came off and like you could see it like peeling off. Um, yeah, she, it was crazy and um, she made us like lay on her so I was like she was like yeah like point like tapping her thighs and I was like what do you want me to do like she was naked as well so I was like laying on a naked lady while she scrubbed me um, it was a very strange experience but I really liked it like my skin feels brand new right now I feel like I've shed my old skin it's disgusting but um yeah and then like a random lady and they gave us like a brown plant thing to like scrub our teeth with and my teeth felt really clean until I started eating this. <laughs> I don't know it was like very random and like natural stuff and then like she washed our hair and yeah it was a good experience I would definitely do it again. My skin feels amazing now and I feel very clean and then afterwards they gave us a bowl of soup which was so sweet and it was really good soup and then on the way back we got this I have no idea what this is for the man who like took us to the hammam and back he brought us like a it tastes like a donut with sugar on it I don't know what it's called but yeah it's decent and the um, if you're interested the hammam from this hostel is 12 euros so it was like 120 dirham um, and that included like the experience and then it also included like the soap like a brush to brush your hair and shampoo so yeah pretty good so yeah had a hammam experience even though i didn't like explore today i still feel like i've had like a good moroccan experience because like 
I didn't eat Moroccan food for lunch. The hammam was amazing and I definitely want to try and do another one while I'm here. But yes, tonight in the hostel is movie night. So uh, he said that we were all going to put like a movie into a hat and then they're going to pick one out and we'll watch whatever movie comes out of the hat. So yeah, it sounds like a really nice evening. There's always an activity on in this hostel. Like last night it was family dinner night, which was like a free dinner at the hostel. It was so good, so much food. I have moved rooms if you can't tell. Um, so now I'm in a seven bed dorm. So uh, over there, there's like two bunk beds. I was lucky and I got this bed. It was just the one free. There is actually a bathroom in this um, bedroom, which I'll show you in a minute. And then up there, there's just two more beds like mine. So uh, yeah, and then there are lockers as well. I don't know if I showed the lockers in the other room, but there were lockers in that room as well. So you can lock your stuff away. So that's good. Um, but yeah, and actually the first night that I got here as well, there was a storyteller. Yeah, I didn't go see the storyteller because I was tired. I'd got up at 3 a.m. and I wanted to go to bed and I had lessons to plan. But um, I heard a little bit of it because she was just outside my door. So it sounded interesting. Hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hello. This is How was your hammam? Amazing, yeah. Good really experience? It. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. That's Dan. He uh, runs the hostel, so... Um, yeah, he's very nice. Always make sure that you're like doing okay, whether you want any like tea or coffee or anything. So um, yeah, I really like it here. Highly recommend coming here. I'm gonna go upstairs for the movie night now, so I will probably check in again tomorrow. Oh, oh.